It's a wise man who learns from another's experience. The Ohio community that comes closest to sharing our tragedy is Xenia in the southwest portion of the state. The tornado hit Xenia 11 years ago, wiping out almost all of the town. Alan Ross went to Xenia last week to get some advice on where we should go from here. Xenia, Ohio, April 3rd, 1974. 34 killed, over 3,000 injured, thousands of homes destroyed, more than 260 businesses wiped out. That was 11 years ago. Today, Xenia is a thriving, rebuilt community, a mixture of old and young. Buildings untouched by the killer winds now sprinkled in among those new structures erected since the devastation. Trees sprouting new growth atop their storm-damaged trunks serve as the only other clues of what happened here that fateful day in 1974. What can government, business, and the people of the Mahoning Valley, now struggling to come to grips with their recent tragedy, learn from the Xenia experience? Bob Stewart, Xenia city manager since 1971, says right after the disaster, a consensus of governmental leaders helped establish priorities any rebuilding would have to meet. The area's Regional Planning Commission then came up with a comprehensive short and long-range plan within 60 days of the storm. You need to decide uh, policies uh, within which then to implement plans. Bill Eichmann had first wanted to rebuild his appliance store on its former Main Street site. He was later convinced by the city's plan he'd do better to buy land across the street and build there. I think all of us uh, had on the very onset, or the aftermath of the tornado, wanted to go back over where we were. And it wasn't very long until we realized that that was not the way to go. Eichmann was the first in Xenia to move into a new store, just 15 months after the tragedy. A highly successful shopping plaza now straddles where Eichmann's appliances used to be. As another direct result of comprehensive early planning, Xenia is now in the position to make strong bids for new industry, perhaps the highly prized Mitsubishi plant. We're real encouraged by just the chance to show off our city because we're very proud of it. 2980. But beneath its shiny new exterior remains a dark side to Xenia. A comprehensive early warning weather system now existing here serves as a precautionary salve for a city's deep psychological wounds. We get worried all the time whenever weather disaster situations occur, whenever the weather is really bad. Reed and Della Huff, who lost everything 11 years ago, say faith and patience have helped get them through their loss. It's something that uh, they're not going to get over today, tomorrow. You just got to, like anything else, time. Before the storm, Ralph and Mary Lou Bosdorfer lived in this house at 891 Moccasin Trail. Ralph drove from work at 75 miles an hour to join his wife and two-year-old daughter in their bathroom, the only place in their home that was spared the full fury of the tornado's winds. Their little girl, Kimberly, now a shy 13-year-old, says she remembers nothing of what happened that day. The Bosdorfers rebuilt in only three and a half months. Their new home looks strikingly like the original, but only the tar-stained bricks used in the fireplace remain from the first house. A 15-year-old pin oak transplanted 10 years ago now shades their front lawn. Ralph and Mary Lou now say they were lucky that in the rush to rebuild, they weren't taken in by an unscrupulous contractor waiting to make a quick buck off their misfortune, something Mahoning Valley tornado survivors should be on the lookout for. We had friends who contacted one and found out the contract when they took it to an attorney was not worth the paper it was written on. Try to settle down in a little bit and wait a while before you sign anything. You have to get all your uh, senses together, know what you're doing. The Bosdorfers were the first to return to the neighborhood, but getting back home didn't eliminate the sense of trauma and loss they continued to feel. Mary Lou took action she says was time well spent. Well, I went to a mental health support group that they started here in Xenia. It's a group of people, oh, five or six couples, and some of the women brought their children. And everybody talked about it. The more you can talk about it, it uh, relieves you. Things will always be all right later, but it takes a long time, and this has been 11 years, and sometimes you still think about it. I dreamt about a tornado the other day after I saw what happened in the Niles area. Some scars still remain 11 years later, but the Bosdorfers have made it through by keeping their material losses in perspective, as they suggest the people of our area must also do now. You uh, just have to try and go along. It happened. 
Uh, you lost material things, but you've got your life. That's what counts. Is there anything else you folks would like to add? I just wish those people good luck and a happy future.